Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the Demon Slayer, Figma, Nezuko. We don't have the original box with her because this was a KO shipped from China. But given I'm going to have our trouble with this tripod to adjust it accordingly. So it doesn't go anywhere. We do get some instructions with this figure. But they're to show off what to what goes on the figure. And we get the box that Kanjiro carries Nezuko and his sister. So, yeah, in the Demon Slayer anime, he gets her sister gets bit by a demon and gets demon powers. Why not? There I say, why not? Right? Kind of cool. But now we're going to look at the figure itself. And here we got Nezuko in her glory. And, and yeah, she's got some articulation. Bend at the knee for a figma. Ankle tilt, which is nice. You got to be careful about not popping the feet loose. You can pop the feet pretty loose easily. Arms are on a hinge. Hands. You get some movement in the hands. Head. You get some movement in the head here. Why not? And does it have waist articulation? Um, no. But you're probably wondering, what's with this thing on her mouth? Well, she was bit by a demon, and if she takes it off, she'd probably bite her brother, but she doesn't. So, I don't know why they continue to put that on her. But now we're going to show off the alternative faces, which is very simple to do. That was one face you saw. I have to do that off camera because this trick, this part is the tricky part. Plugging in the faces and then plugging back in the hair. Come on, Nezuko, don't fight me here, girl. She's a little bit fussy for this review today. If I can get her to cooperate without doing that. And this is a fun figure, but a bit fussy for what I will admit. And I just popped her poor head, head off. And her hair popped out from her head. Oh, come on, Nezuko. Why are you going to pieces on me, girl? You going to pieces, girl? A lot of fussing with this new generation Figma. I will state a lot of fuss. Oh, come on. Hold together so I can get you done and reviewed, huh? Okay. I'm going to take it off its stand to see if that makes it a bit more easier to do this. Which probably might be the issue with this. Okay. Well, that stand she was attached to was included with the figure. Which ain't bad. Well, here we got Nezuko with her other face. I'm going to have to flick on this light function on my phone. And she gets the bug eyes. Look at that. She gets like like those big wide-eyed bug eyes. Be like, what the <laughs> face? What the face? And the last face she gets is an angry face. So she could be like, how dare you hurt my brother? Yeah, she's like kind of like my sister almost in some ways. But I would never say that to her face. But here's Nezuko in 
rage and be like, you hurt my brother, I'm going to hurt you. A junk. Why not? Dare I say, why not? I don't have any other comparisons with this figure is because I don't have another figure from the Demon Slayer toy line to show this off. But I really dig this figure for what I paid for it. But compared to what you would usually pay for this figure, this figure is at least 150 bucks. But I got this shipped from China real quick, and I'm just so glad to have good old Nezuko in my collection. Why not? Dare I say why not? But you're probably wondering, does she have a... Uh, teeth under underneath the whole thing she kind of does it kind of make out the teeth a little bit what's up with this thing i'll be a little too bright <laughs> but she does have some painted teeth on this face so she got her rage teeth painted I don't think she has any painted teeth on this face either. But she does come with a bunch of spare hands. Ain't that neat? I'm not going to bother taking the hands off and showing off all the different hands she's got. Because it's a pain in the neck just to show those off. I will admit, it's a pain in the neck. Well, we do get some alternate dress pieces I couldn't switch them out to make them work because I had our trouble with this Figma in general with switching the dress. You do get an alternate add-on for the Figma stand here. Why not? It's an add-on. I have no idea how to attach it or anything. Oh, so that's how you put it on the stand. I didn't know that. Well, that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is probably my new favorite Figma that I got shipped from China. Demon Slayer Nezuko Figma. Is she worth the money? Especially is she worth the money for 20 bucks shipped from China? is probably the big question for a lot of Demon Slayer fans, if there are any in my channel who love that anime. I'd say she's worth the money compared to the U.S. version, which you're paying about 150 bucks, people, when you can buy this glorious version for half the price. That's why I buy Figmas from China. That's why I buy them. Because it's better than paying the huge chunk of cash compared to the United States. I will buy stuff in the United States if it's a good price. But if it's not, it's not in the money. It's not even worth the money. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.